she's one of Spain's leading ladies. Please welcome Penelope Cruz. I'm here to present tonight's award for best achievement in costume design. The nominees are... The history and traditions of ancient China were the inspirations for the colorful designs of nominee Tim Yi and his memorable costumes for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. The humorous drawings of Dr. Seuss were adapted for the screen by nominee Rita Ryak, who created the wardrobe for the Grinch and the good people of Whoville. The power, glory and opulence of the Roman Empire provided the themes for the magnificent costumes designed by nominee Jan T. Yates for Gladiator. In 102 Dalmatians, nominee Anthony Powell not only saw spots, but plenty of color for his splashy costume creations in this second tale of canine kleptomania. And in Quill's Jacqueline West costumes reached back in time to evoke the dark period of the French Revolution and the final days of the Marquis de Sade. And the Oscar goes to Jan T. Yates for Gladiator. This is the first Academy Award and nomination for Jan T. Yates. Thank you, Academy. Thank you, DreamWorks. Thank you, Walt Parks, Branko Lustig, Terry Needham. A huge thank you to Ridley Scott for his vision and his incredible inspiration. But this doesn't belong to me alone. It belongs to a huge costume crew who worked so hard in Malta and Morocco and in the UK. It belongs to the armor makers, it belongs to the costume makers, to the jewelry, footwear creators, and the costume breakers. I couldn't have done it without these people, without Vanessa Jones, without my husband, Tony Dixon, without Jake Scott, and I couldn't have done it without Rosemary Burroughs, Annie Hadley, and Sammy Howarth. Thank you. By the way, Penelope Cruz has starred in such movies as Live Flesh, Woman on Top, and has just finished a movie called Blow. <laughs> and now, here to erase that imagery from your mind, is the president of the Academy, Bob Ramey. Thank you. You'll be hearing those words a lot tonight from some extremely grateful people, including me, as I finish my fifth and final year as president of the Academy. I'd like to... Thanks very much. I'd like to say a brief thank you to more than 6,000 Academy members and to our Board of Governors for allowing me to serve them. It's been an honor and, frankly, a great thrill. For 73 years, the Academy has endeavored to advance the arts and sciences of motion pictures and to recognize outstanding achievements in filmmaking by conferring our Golden Oscar. Filmmakers are extraordinary artists based all around the world and supply that world with its most glorious and powerful art form. Let's use that power with a high and humane sense of purpose. And uh, for some of you who've fallen a little short of that mark, You'll be given another chance between uh, now and the end of my term. I'll be considering some presidential pardons. Thank you. 
last year's Oscar winner for her role in Girl Interrupted, returns to deliver one this year. Angelina Jolie.